Hi friends, how are you? All right, this is my last dinosaur book that I'm gonna read this week. And you know, this one, I'm really not gonna read. I'm gonna pretend that we're in our classroom and I'm gonna pretend that we're just learning with this book. Because if I read everything on every page, it's a whole lot, it's really long. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at the pictures and we're gonna read the names of the dinosaurs and maybe I'll tell you a couple things about it. We're just kinda gonna look at the pictures and learn with this book. The Dinosaur Alphabet Book. And I really wanted to go through this one with you in our classroom because there's so many different kinds of dinosaurs. A, let's get the picture. A is for Ankylosaurus. Whoa, it has sharp spikes that stick out of its back and its head. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, it also says it's got a tail that can be used as a weapon. It has a really heavy, hard tail and it would swing it around when it felt like it was in danger. Let's look at the next one. B is for Baronex. Hmm, it ate fish. And it had two really big claws on the front. You see them? Let's look at C. Ooh, this one's hard to say. C is for Compsognathus. Hmm, this one wasn't big. It was a little bit bigger than a chicken. Hmm, that's kind of funny. Ooh, D is for Diplodocus. It had a really long neck and a long tail. That looks like the dinosaur from Land Before Time. Ooh, E is for Edmontosaurus. They were found in Canada and they had thousands of teeth. Wow. F is for Fabrosaurus. Hmm, let's see. It was kind of like a bird. It had bones, but looked like a bird. Hmm. That's kind of cool. G is for Gallimimus. Ooh. And scientists think that this Gallimimus could run super fast. H is for Heterodontosaurus. And this one says that scientists think that it was a meat eater and that it was only as tall as a first grade student. Hmm, so it was almost as tall as you guys. I is for Iguanodon. This was one of the second, this was the second dinosaur ever, this one right here, was the second dinosaur to ever be discovered. And its thumbs were sharp spikes. Hmm. J is for Jaxartosaurus. This was a duck-billed dinosaur, so look. Oh, had a duck bill. It's kind of like a duck. K. Oh, there are two Ks. K is for Chronosaurus. It was a giant ocean dinosaur. Wow. And K is also for Kentrosaurus. Oh, this one. The word Kentrosaurus means prickly lizard. Kind of looks like a prickly lizard, doesn't it? L is for Lambiosaurus. It was a duck-billed dinosaur as well, but it had different shapes on its head. Hmm. M is for a Megalosaurus. And this was the first dinosaur ever discovered and the bones looked like a giant horse or even a giant hippopotamus. I love hippos. I think this would have to be my favorite dinosaur. Yep. N is for Notosaurus. This armored dinosaur, oh, it had a tiny little brain and armor on its back. 
O is for oviraptor. This means egg thief. So they think that this dinosaur went to nest and stole eggs. Whoa. P is for parasaurolophus. That's a big word. This one had a hollow bone. That means just a really long, empty bone growing on its head. Hmm. Q is for a questrosaurus, and it was a long neck plant eater. Hmm. R is a ram for ramphorhynchus. Ooh, this one is flying, so kind of like a pterodactyl. Ooh, R is also for a Rheogosaurus. And this one walked on all four legs and was a plant eater. S is for Stegosaurus. Not a stegon that had a bone on its head. So it head butted things. Whoop. T is for a Taurosaurus. This dinosaur had the largest head of any animal. Taurosaurus. U is for the Ultrasaurus. And this one was a giant dinosaur. It doesn't have a real name yet. They just called it the Ultrasaurus because it was the biggest fossil they've ever found. Ooh, V is for the Velociraptor. This one has a huge sharp claw on the front of each leg. See, right down here. W is the Wurosaurus. That's a crazy word. Wurosaurus. Not much is known about this dinosaur, and we're not really sure what it looked like. But they did find fossils of it. X is for the Xyosaurus, and this one was discovered in China. It didn't grow any taller than a person, so maybe it was as tall as I am. Y is for the Yangchuanosaurus. It was a fierce, meat eating dinosaur, and it had huge jaws. Ooh. And Z is for the Zephyrosaurus. Let's see. They're still trying to figure out all the bones for the Zephyrosaurus, but look, that's what they find when they look for a dinosaur's bones, all the fossils. So they'll dig and dig and dig, and a person that digs for fossils is called a paleontologist. So they dig down in the ground and they have all these tools where they brush the dirt away and they might scrape the dirt away from the bone a little bit and they study what these bones look like and try to put them together. So if you were a paleontologist, you might look at this and kind of wipe some more of that sand away and I see a top row of teeth and then right here I might see a bottom row of teeth and I'd say, I just found a dinosaur skull. Yeah, so they would look at all those and put them together and learn about all the dinosaurs that lived here before we ever did. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I hope you've had fun learning about dinosaurs. I hope you have a good afternoon.